Um, we're taking a look at how to prepare and succeed on the final essay here. So to get the final essay, you go to the sidebar menu. It's also hyperlinked in the syllabus, but let's just use this outlet right here. Opens up. Um, click this assignment right now and print it out and read it thoroughly. So let's go through it collectively, but you want to make sure this is only a five-week course. You want to make sure that you understand the expectations thoroughly within this next hour. Um, do make sure that you're quite aware of what constitutes plagiarism. Um, the penalty for plagiarism in this class is an automatic F for the semester. It doesn't matter how good you've done on other things. If there is a hint of plagiarism in any of your work, particularly with the final essay, um, I, I have to call a student on it. There has to be integrity in a college level course. Um, and the only way to do that is to make the penalties this severe. You will earn an F and I'll have to hand um, the information over to Student Affairs for possible further sanctions. Okay, um, must be um, cited in Chicago to Arabian. So I have a couple of links right here. Please go through them thoroughly so you understand what Chicago to Arabian is. Um, if those links don't help you, just Google Ch Chicago Turavian and you will be able to understand what it is, right? Here are some examples right here of papers that use Ch Chicago Turavian. So go through there and just see how it's used, right? It's not, students tend to make a really big deal out of how to cite things. Um, if you just follow the examples, you'll be fine, right? Um, so. Yeah, don't make too too big of a deal about it. Let's see, am I okay? Excellent. Okay. So what the final essay basically entails is that um, it'll be an eight to twelve page paper. Um, do not use uh, first or second person in any academic writing. Right. So no eyes, no us, no we's. In fact, any student using first or second person will will earn an automatic zero. Uh, on the exam. So please do not use those those voices. Use only third person, right, in, in your um, in academic writing. Um, here are the prompts. So please choose, look through these prompts. Part of your orientation exam is going to ask you to um, uh, explain which prompt looks most interesting to you. Um, and begin preparing for this exam. You want to begin preparing for this exam on day one. This is something you do not want to begin preparing towards the end of the semester. It's too big of a paper. And how you do that is, let's see, do I have any yes, index cards? Get yourself a deck of index cards, just a pack, should, should be fine. And have a good understanding of which essay prompt looks most interesting to you and that you want to prepare for. And then as you're doing the assigned reading or as you're viewing a lecture in this course or watching a film, whatever the case is, have your index cards handy with you. And if you come across some information that seems that it might um, help you respond to your essay prompt that you choose, one of these five essay prompts, on one side, write that information down, whether it's a date, whether it's a quote, whether it is and some sort of argument, whatever the case is. And then on the other side, just write down simply where you got it from, right? Um, lecture on the age of expansion or lecture on the Constitution or chapter one, section two from, from the textbook, whatever the case is. And then towards the end of the semester, when it is really time for you to sit down and write this paper out, you'll have a deck of cards, it might look like this, might be a little smaller, it just depends on how much preparation you put into it and um, how much information you wrote down. But anyway, you'll have a deck and then you'll lay out your cards out on a table, just lay them out. And this, what this will help you do is it will help you see in a very easy way of what you have in front of you. And this can help you definitely organize your essay. Um, and you could just begin right from there, uh, creating the narration and the, the argument necessary to uh, construct your final essay. So students that 
so oftentimes for, for some reason students ignore this kind of advice. I don't know why. Successful students, this is the kind of thing that they do. So if you want to be successful in this course, especially in a course that is condensed like this, um, having a tool like this handy uh, is amazingly successful um, for students that choose to do it. Um, anybody who's ever been uh, doing huge research projects, um, this is what they do. Right? People who write books, chapter books, this is what they do. And so you might as well too because it's, it's a very easy way of seeing the body of work that you have doing. Um, at the very least though, if you're just simply writing notes, the, the problem with, if, if you're going to write notes, that's fine, but the problem with that is that by the time you're done, you have a spiral notebook full of notes and it's just hard to see, right? It's hard to make sense of it. Um, but whatever you do, make sure you start now. This is something you do not want to procrastinate. It is 25% of your grade. So begin the process now so you can successfully complete this course. Don't let the um, task of writing a final essay uh, get in the way of your success. Right? You might not write an A paper, right? You might not even write a B paper, but even a C paper is better than nothing, right? And it's not all or nothing. A lot of students, I think, get um, stifled by taking on a project like a final essay uh, because, oh, I, I, just, I can't do that. It's just too much. I won't earn, um, if I earn a C, I'll probably fail the class, right? Even if I earn a D, I'll probably fail the class. Uh, not necessarily true. Let's say you, you, Let's say you, you attempt this and you end up earning a D on this, right? Um, you've still, that would be um, about probably, so, so the course is about 25% of your grade. Hey, how are you, doing, Dr. Day? <laughs> is about 25% of your grade, right? Uh, that was actually the, <laughs> the Dean of Distance Education just walked by and said hello to me. Um, very nice guy. Um, if you end up earning a D, you've still earned 15% of your grade and have only lost 10% of your grade, right? And so if you've done really well on the exams, yes, that 10% might is still a lot, but in relation to the rest of the course, it's not going to um, make you fail the course, right? What will make you fail the course is if you don't even try to do it. Right. You don't want to lose 25% of your grade because that would mean you'd have to ace everything in the class uh, just to earn a C, right? Because you would lose 25% of your grade and then um, that would only leave 75% of your grade left, right? So you want to make an attempt. You want to begin this now. All right, that's all I have for this. Please let me know if you have any questions or concerns about this assignment. Um, you can do this. It's nothing but a but a thing. Millions and millions of college students all over the country do this kind of assignment every semester, and you can too. So let me know if you have any questions. I'll talk to you later. Bye.